Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. I'm Banjo Ben, your host here on the website that teaches you cool Christmas songs. We're in a minor key today. We're doing this beautiful duet of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel with guitar and mandolin. So I'm going to teach you how to play the solo for this, which, by the way, is built to be able to play by yourself, even if you can't find a mandolin picker under the tree. Okay? But then we're also going to talk about how, not just the notes that we're playing, but how do you play back up to a mandolin player taking a solo like I just did. There's a technique to it, and I'm going to explain that to you. If you're watching here on Facebook or YouTube, here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to the website, BanjoBenClark.com. You can join as a Gold Pick member. It makes a great Christmas gift, and you can uh, have access to hundreds of lessons on guitar, banjo, and mandolin, as well as the tabs and the MP3 tracks that I have for you on this one. Let's jump right into the guitar fingerstyle solo for O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Let's learn a fingerstyle version of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. We're going to do it in E minor, which is the key that a lot of the hymnals have it in. So this is a good one to sing along to as well. Uh, we're going to learn the solo and then we're also going to learn uh, to play some backup for a mandolin solo that I have tabbed out for you. Uh, so you can grab a friend or an enemy and put that together and have something ready for uh, Christmas around the fire. Let's go ahead and throw up the first line of tab there. A couple things I want to point out. One is that I have all of my personal uh, choice of right hand fingerings beneath each one of those notes. So that's how I'm going to play it. T stands for thumb and it's going to be very busy. It's going to play all over the place. One is going to stand for index, two is middle, and that's primarily what I use, like I'm playing banjo, except without the picks. But every once in a while, as you can see there in measure two, we have uh, using a ring finger on that high E string. I'll just do that here and there. And uh, these fingerings are not in concrete. If you want to play it with all five fingers, then go right ahead. The other thing I want to point out is the little squares around these notes. That's simply to notate our melody notes. So we're going to try to bring those out a little louder, a little clearer, um, and let folks hear that. Now we've got a two measure intro. And what's cool about this uh, solo, including this intro, is that it works fine even without the mandolin. I tried to build both the mandolin and the guitar solos that way. So if you want to do it just you by yourself, uh, you can do it, but we've got just a two measure intro to kind of set the mood of the song. And I want you to just grab an E minor chord and we're just going to roll through these strings using our thumb quite a bit. Measure one sounds like this. And then we're going to go straight through the strings, measure two. 
And then on the last beat of measure two, we have our first melody note. So I'm gonna to try to play that last second fret a little louder than the rest of the notes. Now stay in that E minor position as we go into the verse here and look at what the melody does. Bum, 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 bum. So let's try, it's hard whenever you're playing lots of strings in a row or together, pinching, but let's try to keep that melody note going. And then I want you to look at what the thumb is going to do. Okay, the thumb is going to be pretty busy on this one. And I like when it, you know, in these fingerstyle versions, I like to break it down whenever I'm learning it. I think it helps with your mechanics. But let's, we're gonna look at what the melody does and just get that under your fingers. Index, middle, middle, middle. Let's look at what the thumb does. It's gonna start down here. Then it's gonna jump up to this E note. Then on the and of two, it's gonna start walking down. And three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. So you might just wanna practice that. And then you start combining those. Then you almost have it. Now all you gotta do is throw the index in there for that harmony note on the G string every once in a while. But a lot of times if you try to tackle the whole measure by itself, you just get bogged down. So let's just split out the different fingers here, get those, you know, uh, get those pathways carved in our brain. And again, we're gonna try to not to make those bass notes too loud. It's hard to do. But get that melody note going. Now in measure four, what's our melody note gonna do? It's gonna start here, and then I'm gonna slide it up to four, just to using the scale as a launch pad to get up to this melody note here on the fifth fret. At the same time, we're going to use some harmony notes to make it more interesting. So grab two and one, slide them both up, and then for the fifth frets, we're going to bar with our ring finger. You might just want to practice that. What happens with our thumb? It's going to go to this A string, one and two and three and four. Last beat measure four, we're playing a D7, a partial D7, and I throw my thumb over that second fret. If you can't do that, that's fine. If you wanted to play it like this, that's fine. But measure four. When we go to this G chord, we're gonna be doing this a lot, where we play this bass note here with our ring finger because we're busy fingering all kinds of things with those first two. So there's our melody note. Then we just have some space fillers here. I'm gonna plug the second and fourth strings and hammer on to a partial C chord for beat two. One and two and three and four and. Now we've got another melody note here. So measure five. One and two and three and four and. Let me play measures one through five. We'll do it much slower later on after we've taught all the way through this solo, but it sounds like this. that beautiful it's not that hard but it's just enough to me it's just enough when we go to measure six